Some hospitals across the country could be out of hundreds of thousands of dollars if their employees do not get the shot. Hospitals here in Iowa are no exception. KCCI's Kayla James spoke with the Mary Greeley Medical Center team about their recently added vaccination requirement. Yeah, Laura, up until recently, they were encouraging staff to get the shot. But if they want to continue receiving federal funds, they have to comply with the Biden administration's mandate. 89% of staff at Mary Greeley are vaccinated and did so before and during the time the hospital was encouraging it. 8% of people aren't yet, and the remaining 3% are either in the process or have turned in an exemption form. Now, that's where a spokesperson with the hospital tells me it gets tricky. The Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services reimbursed hospitals across the country for patient care. It requires people submitting, submitting a medical exemption to have it signed by a doctor. Iowa's new law doesn't require a signature by a health care provider. If hospitals receiving money from CMS don't comply, it would mean a harsh financial impact on hospitals, including Mary Greeley. It's nearly 60% of our revenue. Yeah, it's, it's very significant. And then you add on to that, OSHA fines 14,000, up to $14,000 per employee who is not vaccinated or who has not submitted an exemption. Now, hospitals hoping to stay in compliance like Mary Greeley have until January 4th to get to that point. As for the issues of the federal mandate in Iowa's new law, Steve Sullivan tells me Mary Greeley's attorneys are looking into how the two coexist. He adds on they don't want to lose anyone, especially after all the efforts he's seen the team make throughout the pandemic. Laura.